Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly as dangerous as this one here. Greetings, boys and girls, and all of our non binary friends, and welcome to this another day where I am thoroughly irate at my voice box, but I'm also fully aware that right now it, it is kind of my fault. In that, I don't have a. I had some generic Claritin tablets. I can't find them this morning. I only had like one or two left, maybe. So I could well be out. So I got nothing for my allergies right now. Life is life. And I know that before I record anything at all, if I'm going to partake of bud or flower cannabis, that does a number on my voice box for a while, too. Well, just before recording, guess what I was doing? Yeah, you, well, I need the pain control. I could have done it differently, but I didn't. So, and of course, I know from going out walkies. Last night, I went out walkies. And when I go around people, I put my mask on because I like not getting sick. And I mean, I'm fully vaxxed again, so I haven't had a cold or anything like that in, in the past year. And I'm still going out among people every single day because I have to go to the store. So I'm around people and I haven't gotten sick. So yeah, I wear a mask when I'm around people. Last night I was practicing some voices because I was just about last night ready to record a, I wanted to start doing some shorts and I it got back too late and I was too tired so I couldn't do it. But while practicing without the mask, it was very hard to do some of the voices. My voice kept cracking and, and not being able to do it. After I put on the mask and I was out walking, after about five, 10 minutes, I, I could do the voice perfectly. My I cleared up because the pollen, a lot of it was being caught at the mask. So I could put on the mask after I get up because when I wake up, my lungs are, my voice box, my lungs are fine. <clears throat> my voice box and such is fine. It's only after I take off my sleep apnea mask, which has a dust filter, that I start to wheeze. So, I know what I gotta do. I'm just being a human being. Yay! <laughs> also on the side, things to talk about. Here's something that actually... I talked the other day about you know white trash food and you know, what you think about when you think of white trash food and how it's just poor people food, food that poor people have to eat. The person that was doing the video pointed out that it's really easy to make a casserole and casseroles are tasty. You take, you know, in this case, she was just taking the same pasta, but you can use potatoes, any starch, add a vegetable, throw in some meat, Top it with some cheese, bake it at X number of degrees for X amount of time, you got a casserole. It's just that easy. Toss it together. It's quick. It's simple. And it tastes good. And they do. I've made casseroles myself, and most casseroles are awesome. I realize that what I am doing with one of the things that I've been eating of late is I'm speed running casseroles. Because I take a mashed potato mix a commercial mashed potato mix so you know you add water you microwave it you got a bowl of mashed potatoes so there's the starch i take a can of chili well that's chili with beans so i got meat and i've got a vegetable and then i usually throw in a handful of cheese and then i mix it all up into one big sloppy mess microwave it and grand total it takes like five minutes because it takes like three minutes of microwaving that's just speed running a casserole that's starch vegetable meat cheese and not baked but cooked so yeah which is weird that i can do it that way which also not so weird in a way because i mean it's still weird well the textures and mixing with food if i have you know, meat, beans, uh, starch, and something else on a plate. It all has to be separated, and I eat one thing at a time, and if they touch it, I'm not happy about it, and things are good that way, and I've just lived with it my life. Mixing stuff together like that doesn't normally do me good. Uh, they have to be separated. 
But this case, because it's meant to be a casserole, it's okay? Even though the texture, sometimes I don't do very well with that. I'm usually good with textures and shapes and all that. I don't have any problem with shapes of my food. Textures, I'm usually okay. But again, if it's served separately, it has to be separate. If you take all the stuff that's in the casserole and you serve it to me on a plate individually, if you mix it together, I'm not going to want to eat it. Because they're all separate and they're supposed to be separate, so I can eat them separately. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, I also have some other stuff on my list because this was... This one's bizarre. This one fellow, well, I mean, if you ever watch him, if you watch YouTube and, and stuff like that, you probably know Charlie Moist Critical, uh, what is it, Penguin Zero, something like that is his username on that. But he was talking this morning, he was looking at video clips as he posts on YouTube, a lot of it was like live streaming stuff, and talking about the Heart Attack Grill restaurant. Oh my God, that is, people have died from eating there. People have had heart attacks from eating there. It is horrific. They have an eight patty burger that is 20,000 calories. And of course, if you go to this restaurant and you order this stuff, if you don't finish your food, they put you up on like a, a sock thing and they, they spank you with a big old paddle. And so, yeah, 20,000 calories and a eight patty burger. It was like this tall. It was a mound of grease. Frequently, my meal for like breakfast is a, why well, I can't even remember how, what size they are. I don't have any here. I haven't eaten this morning, but it is a one serving container of Greek yogurt. And the only reason I have that is because it has fiber in it. It's, it's a type of yogurt that has extra protein and extra fiber. It has chicory root and that's it. I don't need enough fiber. So I need to get any fiber I can get. So I eat that and they're like 100 calories per container. And I I have to push to eat two of them. I usually just eat one and I'm good. So I, I'll go through like 90% of a day by having just four or 500 calories of yogurt through the day. 20,000 calories is horrifying. I mean, I still eat, as I say, I'll eat a container, I'll make up, you know, I'll take a half bag of the mashed potato mix, half a can of chili, and then throw a handful of cheese on top of it. That makes a pretty big meal. But it's starch, potatoes. It runs, you know, you mix it up with some stomach acids and it goes through your stomach quickly. The chili, there's meat in it, but it's primarily beans and, and the sauce stuff. So there's not a lot of stuff that lasts in your system. And then, of course, cheese. I mean, it's dairy. It's dairy fats. But that doesn't stay in your, your stomach long either. But that's more than enough. Hokey smokes. I can't even imagine anymore eating 20,000 calories. So, the stuff I used to eat in the past, as in amounts, I could eat an entire medium pizza. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm good with like one or two slices and I have to push to finish those. So thumbs up for that. Also, let me just, I'm going to talk about this one because I feel it's important, but I'm going to, I don't want to, everything is politics. You know, if I say I don't want to talk about politics, I'm making a political statement. You know, everything is politics. You can't say, I, I want politics out of my insert name of your favorite media here because you're making a political statement. Everything is politics. You take politics out, you have nothing left. It's like, uh, so you can't separate these things. But it's just a minor thing on something else talking about all this stuff. <laughs> the actual point being... 
what I have written down there on the side is representation and finding things out and knowing that you're not alone and not and that you're not crazy because of how you feel the way you feel. And I say this just on ADHD. I'm just talking about such a, you know, a minor thing in the world that mostly people look at you, they'll never know. They only know by your actions. They only know where you are in your life. There's no big pointer that says, I've got this. But I have always just felt like the black sheep of the family, just a colossal, colossal mess up with just that I was just wrong and bad and I broke myself with my alcoholism and it was all my fault and that I, I deserve every bad thing that has happened. I've been fighting against that all my life, but it's still feelings. But then discovering, finding out that I'm not crazy. I'm not just a colossal fuck up that I can look at all of the symptoms of ADHD and then look at my life and go, yeah, that was that, that was that, that caused that, that was that, that was that, that was that. And no, I'm not a, a colossal person who can't just do things. I didn't mess myself up with my alcoholism. I mean, I did, but the stuff that I'm looking at as in messed up my life, like the way my brain works and all that, no, that was the ADHD. Finding out knowing that there are people out there that have my issues, finding out that they suffer like this and how they deal with it and how they can go out into their lives, I feel so much better knowing who I am, knowing how I have to deal with it, knowing that there are other people out there that are just like me that are dealing with this as well. And in case you couldn't point out couldn't point out, couldn't figure out. I'm not just talking about ADHD. I'm talking about anything that anybody has. Anybody who finds out that, yeah, maybe they're gay or lesbian or trans or bi or any of these things. Finding out that the feelings that you have are shared by other people, that you're not crazy, that you're not alone, that you haven't culture and society is against you, but that you're not wrong. It is an amazing feeling. And that is why, yeah, representation matters. Showing diverse people on television and in movies matters. Not just having a, you know, full spectrum of white male people being presented constantly in media. Showing everybody is good. It's made me feel better so much in just minor little ways. Imagine how somebody who doesn't have something minor, where it's major in their lives, and then they find out they're not crazy and wrong. There are other people out there. There is validation to show them that they're not wrong and bad. You're different, but you're not bad. And this is one, the one thing. I talk about this a lot with the 80% and all that. All I'm talking about with bell curves is just probabilities. If you have a large chunk of balls that are being dropped out of a dispenser and you have all these posts as, as the things fall, as they fall and bounce and drop, what you see is a kind of a graph, a bell, as you have a few little things over here and then you pile up to the maximum amount just under where the dispenser is and then back down to the far end where there's very little that's people that's society that's everything if you say like well what is normal about this sort of thing well you take that one modal point that one point that you ask you know what is normal for eating burgers and drop those balls 80 percent of the people are going to be right here and then you're going to have the 10 percent that are highly impacted and the 10 percent that aren't impacted at all but you got the 80 percent of where most people fall it's hard being on the 10 percent on either side either being fully impacted 
massively or barely impacted at all. So that's all I speak of when I speak of a bell curve and all that. It's just the probabilities where most people fall. Take any issue, drop those balls, and that's what's going to happen. The 80% is right there with those that are most affected on either side. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people, or however many people have comments, for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I am just thanking you for having left a comment, good, bad, and different. You took the time, you expended the calories, thank you very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more... <coughs> I'm sometimes lucky I can't remember anything at all. Boy, ADHD meds make such a difference, though. I am doing so much better. Oh, I also took some meds before I started recording, so now the gas wants out, of course. Mm. We had Mad Muffins, thank you very, very much, and Victory Leaf, greatly appreciated. William Laswell, thumbs up and thank you. Ricky Bettini, good to see you in the comments. And we have Floramu as well, good to see you too. I. I really wish to engage with more people in comments as, as more often, so here's hoping. We have VFX Ninja, thumbs up and thank you. Rats like plague. They may. I don't know. They may. Uh, just do soft. Software gestor de documentos. I have no idea how to... I did not pronounce that correctly. My sincere apologies, but thank you. Constable Lopez. Hey, it's good to see you in the comments. Sebastian Ferris, and good to see you in the comments as well. Tommy Nilsson, thank you. Kapaki, good to see you in the comments as well. We have Joe, Jojo, <laughs> thumbs up. Trucker Rob, good to see you. Christopher Thomas, thumbs up and thank you. We have Nora Eld, greatly appreciated. Melissa R, good to see you in the comments again. We have Flatmine Hun, thumbs up and thank you. And that is it, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you get me out of my head into the world, dealing with real people, if only in text. Thumbs up, and thank you so very, very much. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. All of these people are helping to keep me alive, to purchase pain medication, to purchase food, to keep a roof over my head. It is appreciated to no end. If you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have the PayPal link down below. If you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list thing where hopefully I finally updated it with stuff like Reptisan and hamster food and hamster bedding and cat food, maybe a pair of shoes. If you could take a look, that would be awesome, but do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled, and if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart or I draw in. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Thumbs up and thank you very much. Well, son of a gun. I've started making to-do lists to make them small at first so I can get them done. One phone call per day so far. So I got to get that done and I'm going to do it. I got the meds in me. I've got the ability. I'm going to get it done. Hopefully your day will be good as well. Until this whole pandemic is over, if you have to go out, even if you're fully vaxxed, please wear a mask, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, maintain your social distancing, just be smart, be safe, please. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is a definite thumbs up. It doesn't matter if it's like actual dirt or coarse dirt, since I'm just going to stuff it into the ground with water. <clears throat>